I'm going to show you a short video here of some pieces that I found today. <clears throat> My friend Gil and I went out to where we've been finding the broken um, artifacts and, and uh, preforms, blanks, and uh, walked away with quite a few interesting pieces today. Probably most interesting, and definitely not an artifact, is this uh, cement star. Um, there were two of them. Uh, Gil kept one and graciously carried this one back to his vehicle for this old man. Um, it looks very primitive, very rustic. I'm guessing maybe it's been out in the weathered out side for a long time. I'm thinking maybe, maybe it might be about my age or a little older, 50 to 60 years. But um, another unusual piece, because I've seen other people find these, but I've never found any myself, is a pitted stone. I can't really ascertain right off the bat whether this is a natural formation or it was man-made. Um, if it's natural, it's called an omar, and omars are uh, where there was a bubble uh, in, uh, in stone. And um, this could be an omar, I'm not sure, but it also could have been for small grinding. Um, certainly there are a lot of unusual artifacts that I have picked up there. Banded, banded uh, chert, these are some pieces that I found today. Um, if you, I'm going to show you close-ups later of the uh, other pieces because each one of those is, in fact, worked on one or more edges. Um, and then the uh, stone that really intrigues me is the greenish-black uh, stone that I've been finding over there. Um, I don't know much about the stone. I know that these are these pieces have all been worked on one side or both sides. Um, using it as they could be used as choppers, um, uh, hand axe, and, and multiple other multiple other things. There's a small amount of flat um, uh, limestone there, and I picked up a few pieces because I'm going to try to separate the layers in them. Uh, not knowing where this is from, I have had limestone pieces like this that had produced fossil fish in the past. Um, so I'm going to see if I can break them open without totally destroying them and see what might be inside. Um, this is just a selection of odd, of odd stones. Now I want to show you this one in particular. This again is that greenish uh, black stone. But looking at it from the side, it looks like they attempted to make a groove around here. And it is honed down to a, to a cutting bit. I don't think they finished it. Or they may have finished it and it was broken and threw, thrown away because this side, um, you know, is, has been worked as, as the edge. This side has not. Then, also, uh, here's another piece that would be an excellent chop, um, you know, chopping tool. And there are quite a few of those in there. Um, this one, again, was honed down to a beveled edge, and you can see all around it, um, where it's been worked. This was a particularly interesting piece of the uh, green stone because it is notched and sharper than heck in that notch and I believe this was used for woodworking probably like a draw knife would be used um, for shaving uh, maybe arrow or spear shafts down. Along that same line is this stone which has a groove in it and it's cut to a semicircle there, like the other one, except this is a you know larger piece. It's been worked on this side, this edge, this edge, but the rest of it, and along here, the rest of it is is natural. You can see what the cortex, outer cortex of the stone looks like there. And then this one I thought was pretty cool because you can see that all the places that they took pieces off to sharpen it. And uh, they sharpened it to a cutting bit there. Would have been used and held as a chopper. So all of these pieces are artifacts. Um, well, not the limestone that I showed you, but the rest, of, and not the star, but the rest of it is. And they will make uh, fascinating displays and they will make an interesting uh, presentation. I wish I knew where this stone had been gathered from before it was dumped, where it has been dumped here in Saginaw, Michigan. Um, it, none of it looks like local stone to me. Anyways, stay tuned because I'll be doing a more in-depth video 
on uh, various pieces on here shortly. Thanks for stopping by.